My challenge is I'm a single mom and I don't have time to cook. We eat out almost every night, and if we're not eating out, we're in the frozen food section of the grocery store. The only reason that we have a kitchen is because it came with the house. My name is Sergeant First Class Rainy Marquis, a five-star military chef. My mission is to travel around this great country and rescue you and your family from the same old boring dinners. Today I'm gonna to train mom to make chicken chasseur, herb cheese mashed potatoes, and seasoned green beans. Fall in for dinner boot camp. So you guys eat a lot of frozen dinners. Yes, we do. Well, I'm here to help. You're going to boot camp, and today I'm going to teach you how to make chicken chasseur, herbed mashed potatoes, and fresh green beans. Excellent, let's go. We're going to put our potatoes right into a pot. Basically, the potatoes have been peeled already. Okay. The pan has been preheated, and we're going to let them come to a boil. You can start on cutting the green beans. What I'd like for you to do is to snip both ends of the green beans just like that. Okay. And then line them up right here like little soldiers. <laughs> and uh, we'll get ready to cook those. So I'm gonna season the chicken breast with some salt and pepper. Okay. And we're just gonna turn those so each of the breasts has enough salt and pepper on it. Okay. We got a, a pan that's preheated. We're adding some oil and some butter, about a tablespoon. Okay. Then we're just gonna put the chicken breast down. Skin, skin side if it was skin down. Can you hurry up and cut the green beans, I'm please? working. This whole meal is depending on those green beans. Okay, well, it's a good thing that I'm in charge then. Huh? You're in charge. Okay. Now, how long does this chicken cook? Um, this chicken's going to cook about 15 to 20 minutes total time. We're going to make the pan sauce right in this uh, pan while the chicken's finishing in the oven. Now See the nice much? color that's on the chicken? We want to do that on both sides of the breast. So that it's kind of tan? Um, not so it's kind of tan, so it actually seals in the juices on the chicken. Okay. Green beans are done? Yes. All right, let's put those scraps in there. And you see uh, in the back here, we have some boiling salted water. Okay. So the green beans are in. Oh, you missed I the missed stem. Fix that. On it. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. What we're gonna do is we're gonna strain these mashed potatoes, strain the liquid out. Okay. So we're gonna just put it back on the fire. The heat from the fire is gonna dry out the rest of the potatoes. See, there's still some liquid in there? I do. We want that liquid to go away. Okay. Let me go ahead and put our chicken breast right into the oven. It'll just go in the oven like so. Wait, how long? How long is the chicken going? Um, until it's done. Okay. <laughs> so what you're gonna exactly do? Exactly what I was gonna say too. What Good. you're gonna do now is you're just gonna take these potatoes, put them into the ricer one at a time, and when you press them through, they come out of the ricer just like oh, look so. Look at that. Okay. Can you do that? Got it. All I'm right. Not squeezing. Oh no! Let me help you with this. Let you me got help. This? Let me help you. <laughs> You have to use your muscles and squeeze them just like oh, that. Look at can that. you put another potato in here, please? I can. I'm on this. Okay. Wait, two. Now, what is this going to do for the potatoes? Well, this ricer is going to cause the potatoes to be nice and creamy, okay. nice and smooth with great consistency. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the rest of our ingredients, some uh, semi-soft cheese. We've got some butter. How much butter? Uh, this is three tablespoons of butter. We've got about three ounces of milk. All right. So basically like a mashed potato, but Just like a mashed potato. Difference. Three <laughs> ounces of sour cream a little bit of salt, and a little bit of white pepper. Mix these potatoes up for us, please. Okay. How are my green beans doing? Uh, we're getting ready to sh take them out of the shocking, out of the liquid now to shock them. <laughs> and how are we gonna shock the green beans? We're gonna oh. just put them in an ice bath like so. Okay. This stops the cooking process. You can see that they're nice and green. Am I doing it right? Uh, mix it all up. Okay. Make sure there's no liquid left. And then we're just gonna take um, a spoon. We're gonna taste the potatoes. Tell me what you think. Mm, very good. And now we have this hot water back here. We're gonna just keep it hot with that. All right. To make this uh, sauce, it's basically a pan sauce made from the scraps of the chicken. We're just gonna add some shallots. Which is? Uh, it's a French red onion, but it's really sweet. Okay. We're adding some chopped mushrooms, and these are cut real small so that the kids won't know what they are. Perfect. And we're just gonna sweat these down for a couple of seconds. It's not gonna take long at all. The chicken is cooking, it's in the oven here. It's um, it's not firm to the touch yet, so it's gonna take a few more minutes to cook. By the time we finish this sauce, that chicken will be ready. So now we're gonna deglaze it with a little bit of red wine, because I know you like red I wine. Do. How do you, I have kids. And then you can see nothing is stuck on the pan now. We're just gonna add a little bit of that chicken demi glass. We'll let this come to a simmer. So let's go back to the green beans. And we're gonna add just a little bit of butter for the green beans. All right. And you can see the pan is very hot. I've got some julienne red peppers. Now we're gonna add our green beans back to that. We're gonna season our green beans with a little bit of salt. And the white pepper. And a little bit of white pepper, because <laughs> the kids can't see it. We can finish our sauce by adding our chopped tomatoes, our tomato concasse, it's diced tomatoes, 
some fresh chopped parsley, okay. some fresh chopped tarragon. We're gonna add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Nice. We're just gonna let this cook down. It smells good. So we'll give our mashed potatoes a stir. You can see how this is keeping them nice and hot. It's a great idea. The very last thing we're gonna add to our sauce is a little bit of whole butter. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna thicken the sauce and it's also gonna give it a nice sheen. All right, we're gonna take the chicken out of the oven. We're just gonna set our chicken breasts on the cutting board. We can plate up the potatoes and the green beans. We'll take those. All right, we're gonna put the potatoes into our bowl. Okay. And you can see this chicken is perfectly cooked. It's nice and moist. Chicken will go in the platter. I'm sure this is how you cut the chicken that all the time. exactly how we cut chicken here at this house. Not really. <laughs> and this one, we're gonna take our sauce, pour our sauce right over the chicken. So there we have it. We have chicken chasseur, herb cheesy potatoes, and fresh green beans. Nice, thank let's, you. Let's go eat dinner. You need some more sauce for your potatoes, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> if you liked what you saw today, subscribe to Cafe Mom Studios on YouTube. I'm Chef Franny Marquis, and we'll see you next time.